talk about vitamin A. Sure. Because from what I understand, vitamin A kind of gives your white your white cells, those fighter cells, I should say. Yeah. Natural killer cells. The fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. So when you think about this as a virus, so you're looking at what are things that actually naturally fight viruses, and vitamin mm -hmm. A is one of those, has a strong affinity for the respiratory tract, for the skin, for the eyes. Mm -hmm. So vitamin A has many, many benefits, but most of us, again, are probably doing okay until we're not. So that's when you want to start looking at, like, how could I maybe upregulate? Most of us need about five um, 5,000 international units of vitamin day, mm -hmm. vitamin D a day. Um, so like animal products are naturally going to be a little bit higher. Mm. And then vegetables like, you know, this is beta carotene. This has to be converted to vitamin A. Mm. But if you were to take carrots and throw a little butter onto it, that would be a great example of a food that's going to give you a nice quality of vitamin A. So you're going to get the beta carotene. This has got vitamin A in it. <laughs> vitamin A is really rich in liver. So mm -hmm. whether it's chicken livers or beef liver or lamb liver, I know I can see by your face mm -hmm. that you're not a big fan. What but, if we don't want to eat the liver? Yeah. <laughs> what can we eat? You can eat any type <laughs> of, you know, dark colored meat. So again, like lamb, uh, just beef okay. or lamb, you know, is going to be also rich. All in right. So then A. I have to ask this. So what if you're a vegetarian and you don't eat any kind of meat? How can you yeah, I mean, your again, A? you're going to get most of yours from your plant foods. Okay. So, you know, you start looking at things like carrots and eggs. Well, if you're not, you know, if you're a vegetarian, you're probably not going to be doing an egg. But if you were, you know, thinking about the yellow or orange colored fruits and vegetables, okay. those would be great. And then if you caught, like cooked a yam or a sweet potato right. or a butternut squash, yeah, uh, now carrots, you're talking. now you can go ahead and throw a little bit of butter or ghee. Now you're really talking, yeah. And put that on top and that would be a great combo okay. of foods that would help to really improve your vitamin A levels in your... In your in okay, so Gina, I, I, I brought some stuff. Now I, I do this green shake in the morning mm -hmm. and this is just... So this has vitamin A, right, 784 IU. Okay. All right, spirulina. This has like vitamin A, 6,000 IU. Fantastic. All Great. right. And this wheatgrass, 1,850 IU. Now, could I be overdosing at this point? You know, vitamin A? <laughs> you know, you're not, again, you're not getting it from animal sources. So okay. it's not likely that you're going to overdose. But you could, you know, be mindful and maybe just, you know, play with this, like those powders. You can go ahead mm -hmm. and use a little bit more or less. And um, I don't know, what's your base that I you Because i got to tell you, this is just three of like a few ingredients that I have in this green shake in the morning. Okay. Yeah. yeah and I think it's just great to rotate. You know, okay. you don't necessarily have to stick with the same thing. It's body loves diversity. Okay. It loves variety. And when it comes to nutrition, your nutrition's always going to be better. The more different types of plants or the different types of powders that you might be incorporating over the course of a week. Mm -hmm. So think of it like that, you know, so you can be a little bit more playful. Okay. Good to know. Jeannie, is there a website? our viewers can refer to, to just get more information about what we talked about today. Oh, sure. Um, it's the Nourishing Wellness Medical Center, so www.nourishingwellness.com. And uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions. So people can just go ahead and send a question if you're interested, and I'll be glad to answer it for oh, you. Oh, how convenient. Thank you. you and bet. thank you for being here today. Thank you. I to very, totally enjoyed oh, it. Oh, I had such a good time. You're very <laughs> welcome. And don't forget to check out elsegundo.org for all the latest and accurate information on COVID-19.